Hi, my name is Connor Terrio and I'm a BIM Technical Specialist here at Red Cage Solutions. Today I'm going to show you a tool called the Selection Box. Selection Box is used when you want to uh, get a quick 3D view of some elements you have selected in the model. For today's demo, I'm going to show you the kitchen furniture as an example here. So in my project browser, I'm going to my floor plan furniture plan. And I'm going to select some furniture in this room. To do so, I'm windowing from top left to bottom right. This will select anything inside my box. Now once I have my elements selected, you'll notice my ribbon automatically change. So under the Modified Multi-Select tab, I'm going to find my View Panel and Selection Box. As you can see, this gives you a quick 3D view of all elements you have selected. To save this view, we simply come down here in our project browser under 3D views and rename the current view. So you'll notice that right now we're working in a default 3D view. We want to save this default 3D view as kitchen table. Notice the default 3D view disappears because we just resave that as kitchen tables. To get our default 3D view back, we want to come up here to our quick access toolbar and press the 3D view. Little house. You'll notice in the project browser, we now have our default 3D view. Back in our kitchen tables view here, if you select your selection box, these little grips on the edges here, you can adjust and view more or less of the space. To reset your view, come to your properties menu and under the extents tab, selection box, there should be a checkbox here. This will turn on and off your selection box. If we uncheck it, click apply, it will reset our view back to its original, which in this case was the default 3D view. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Selection box is something I use very often, and I'm sure you will too.